Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a tutorial showing you how I use the TNC hot comb and slick stick to transform this mess into this beautifully nice sleek wig. So if you want to see how I worked on this, keep watching. So we have a TNC unit. This is the Naomi unit from our classic catalog and this client has had this wig for two years. She sent this in for a closure replacement and for a collar job and you can see this hair is still beautiful. So the top of this wig is bumpy, it is not even in flat and you can also see up close that we have you know quite a bit of unruly flyaways. Now guys I want you guys to understand that flyaways are absolutely normal when it comes to lace contrary to many beliefs. Some might have it more than others, but flyaways are actually normal because that is how lace is ventilated to make sure that it is not bulky at the top. So don't worry about flyaways, we're going to take care of them in this video. Now the first thing you're going to do is part this head down the middle. You want two equal halves. Starting from the left side, you're going to divide the first half into two equal parts. And then when you finish working on the left side, we're going to transition to the right side and do the same thing on that side. So let's start with the left. You're going to part into two equal halves. Just imagine you are creating a side part on the left. That is exactly what you're doing. So I'm creating my part right there. I already created my side part. And then now you're going to apply your slick stick. Guys, a little goes a long way. This product is actually amazing and beautiful. You're going to apply it close to the base of the part and also to the front of the hairline. Lightly, a little goes a long way. Now we're gonna take our hot comb, as you can see, um, I am going to press the on button to start the hot comb and it's going to start blinking meaning it is working towards the temperature setting you are going to choose. So now I'm going to adjust my dial to the highest temperature setting. On the comb 20 is equivalent to 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 230 degrees Celsius and it takes about a minute to get to that temperature. When it does, the blinking light is suddenly going to become solid and that's how you know you have arrived at whatever temperature you choose. So let's focus on the comb. There are two parts to the comb. You have the teeth and the bar. The main function of the teeth actually is to do extra detangling, you know, to any knots that might be left in the hair after combing. But the bar is actually the main plug. The bar is what does the job. It's there to apply heat and pressure to the hair. So guys, this is not the right way to use your comb. You want to turn it sideways and slide into the hair. So it's like the solid telling us that it's already hot enough. So just watch me as I slide that comb into the hair. I'm going to detangle with my rat tail comb. And then I'm going to turn my comb sideways and slide into the hair. Remember, we are not using the teeth of the comb. We are sliding sideways so that the teeth run through the hair and the bar applies the heat and pressure to create that silk pressed finish. So just watch this transformation, guys. Look at that. Instant press instant change can you see that guys am i the only one watching this video just look at that change that was instant in seconds you can even see the heat from this hot coal so remember sideways and slide not up front with the teeth you're gonna go side and slide Next, we're going to do the same thing, but we're doing it to the hairline of the hair. I like to do this back a little bit and then side because I like to create that, you know, slip 
motion on my hairline going back and then side so you're gonna slip that in and slide it all the way back oh that's so beautiful guys oh my god that is so beautiful yes oh I'm loving this okay so I'm getting a little excited sorry <laughs> so yes just swipe this hot comb into the hair and just move it all the way back and then out to the side if you don't like that look where your hairline is pressed back you can just comb it all the way side and flat but I like this I like my hairline to show a little bit you know give a little realness Next, you're going to the center. Remember, we divided this into two equal halves. So we're going into the center, creating a nice even part. And we're just going to divide that. Make sure your part is straight, guys. Make sure your part is straight. Make sure that you know, you're getting this right in the middle because you don't want to finish this and put the wig on back. So just do it all over again. Next, you're going to take your slick stick and apply it close to the part and also to the front of the hairline. Please be light-handed. Don't be like me here. Um, I was getting a little clumsy, but you get the drift. Next, you're going to slide in your hot comb. The same motion, but you're just going to do it to all the parts that we have, you know, divided this hair into. You're going to continue this motion for the front of the hairline. And you can also do this for a frontal. So you see how those frontals lay really flat. This is the extra step you need to do to get it to that point. All right, just making sure that I'm not missing any extra little hairs or baby hairs. I'm not a fan of baby hairs personally, but um, if you want your baby hairs, you can lay that and then do this behind it. Look at that finish, guys. Do you see that shin? Do you see that press? This hair is laid for the god. Yes, it is flat, flat. Can't tell me nothing. There is no white residue. It is not caking up. It is not sticking together. It is not clumpy. It is beautiful. And all I have to do now, because I already did those steps, is just use my comb and it's back to normal. Simple. Next, we're gonna go to the other side. Initially, I was going to just fast forward past this because we're repeating the same thing, but I decided that, you know what, I'm just going to show you guys again, just so, you know, for those in the back, they're not paying attention in class, you get. So, part it on the other side, comb it, make sure there are no knots, make sure that it's laying, you know, nice, and then I'm just using the tip of the rat tail to press that place down because it's getting in my way. I need to see properly where I'm putting this wax. Guys, do not be heavy handed like me. I promise you, I was being very, very heavy handed. Um, one third of that is enough. So let's go ahead and, you know, we already know how to use the hot comb and what position to put it. Ooh, yes, look at that. Guys, am I the only one who finds this oddly satisfying? Look at that heat from this hot comb. Yes, oh my God. So just go ahead. I think I want this to be up close. Let's zoom in, guys. I think that would be better. Okay, better. Yes, now you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So go ahead and slide that hot comb in. Don't worry about the little flyaways. That's going to go like in three, two, one. Bam! Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that. That is so good. So go ahead and just swipe, swipe, swipe till you get to your desired look. Um, I'm using my butterfly clips to hold it at the other side because it is getting in my way and I want this hair to be laid flat, okay? Alright guys, so now this is what it looks like up close and we're going to go to the final part of this tutorial. Um, just, you know, comb your hair, make sure that you put it back in the right motion, right position. Yes, I know it's still humpty dumpty over here, but don't worry about it. I'm going to take care of it nice and easy. TNC, hot comb and slick stick, gotcha. Alright, so comb, detangle, we already know the drill, put your slick stick on. You know make sure you get it nice and light don't be like me okay 
nice and light yes and then next thing you're going to grab your hot comb and deal with that hairline okay tell it who's boss tell it who is boss we're not going with humpty dumpties on our head that is a no-no now that you're watching this video it is forbidden for your hair to be on different levels okay let's all calm down to the same level yes this is nice you better go grab you one all right so this is the finished look everything is beautiful but i'm also going to show you how to change your part this is a problem a lot of people have but with this hot comb and slick stick it is literally less than five minutes three minutes in fact so you're gonna put your part where you want it to be and in this case we're gonna be changing from the center to the side so i created my part and then I flipped it the other way and you can see it's not laying flat because the roots of the hair have already been molded into the center part direction now we're gonna remold it the other way around I'm just making sure that my part is actually crisp and straight because I don't want to have to do this over again take a slick stick put it in the other side of the hair that needs to be molded to the other direction very lightly especially if you have used the product already on the hair it's still in there you know and then you just swipe it to the other side you need a few swipes okay you need to do this maybe for me my rule of thumb is 10 swipes will get me there there okay but you can actually get this with like three swipes if you know what you're doing but just watch that front just watch how, how that's going to change now boom all right, let's get that other part out. Boom, c'est fini. C'est fini. What do I have? Side part. Middle part where? Nowhere. Guys, how can you not get this hot comb and slick stick? What else do I need to tell you? What else do I need to tell you? If you miss this hot comb and slick stick, you're on your own, guys. I can't help you. I can't help you. There is no excuse why your hair shouldn't be laying nice and sleek anymore, okay? You already know what to do. Go on my website, guys. Keep swiping till you get your desired look. And voila! Do you see that? There is no flyaway in sight. And this hair is not caking up, baby. It's not. It's not clumping up. There is no residue anywhere. It's not hard. It is nice and fluffy and sleek. Just going over the hairline because this is a client's wig too, so I want to make sure it's perfect. All right, so that is the finished look. We have changed this part in less than five minutes from a center to a side part, and everything looks beautiful and clean. That is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I also have a side-by-side -side comparison of before and after. Ooh, man, this is such a difference, all right? Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Tag me on all your pictures with your products, and I'll see you next time, okay? Stay beautiful.